go, I go, you stay, I stay, one song to sing. Good morning, guys. Open up the campus today. It's almost uh, 7.15. So you guys saw there, I had a couple squares of cheese. I'm gonna drink my Monster, answer some emails, and then I'm gonna head to McDonald's and I'm gonna get um, a couple of uh, those uh, egg white delights. And I'm gonna add my fat-free cheese. Fat-free cheese. You can find fat-free cheese at Walmart. That's where we get them in the cheese section. You just gotta, you just gotta look. But uh, to me, that fat-free cheese tastes just like normal cheese. I don't even know what normal cheese tastes like anymore. And you save uh, some fat on there. This is how the gym looks before we get people in here. The calm before the storm. So one thing I want to do is uh, I want to... I'm gonna I'm gonna look online. I'm gonna set up a Toys for Tots this this whole month, and I think I'm gonna do um, anybody that brings one toy gets to get in free. The the day fee is the the guest pass. The guest fee is uh, waived, and our day fee here is fifteen dollars. Yes, it's fifteen dollars. Um, all our local gyms around the area, commercial gyms, charge anywhere between 20 to 25. Maybe 15 for the smaller gyms, but uh, that's what I know of. 20 is like average. So yeah, $15. Um, I'm gonna look online and see what I gotta do to get um, one of those bins over here. All right, I put my request in to be a drop-off uh, location. All you gotta do is go to, uh, I believe it's toysfortots.org. And you can sign up. I sign up for two bins and one poster. It is cold. It's like uh, 65 degrees in the gym. Turn the heater on. I have it set to like 73. So it's heating up. The warehouse is probably like in the 40s. I just spotted a uh, Christian and the freaking bar was freezing. It's freezing, but the sun is out. You can still wear the shades. You guys have asked what, what Ray-Bans these are. These are the Ray-Ban Justins. I have them in the, the tortoise and the black. They're my favorite. Yeah, can I get two of the egg white delights? Okay. How many? Just one? Uh, two. Okay. Anything else? Can you do those without the cheese? Yeah. Anything else for you today? Um, that's it. All our total for the first window. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, as you guys saw, I asked for the egg white delights without any cheese. So, I'll show you the macros. So, here's my cheese. Fat free cheese. Alright, so this is on McDonald's site. So, each has uh, 17 protein. 7 fat, 29 carb, and this is what's in it. The muffin, egg whites, Canadian style bacon, and then there's a white cheddar cheese. I asked for no cheese. It does come with salted butter, I want that. So I figured, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna make each five grams of fat, because I, I took off the cheese. Actually, Check this out. I, I didn't notice that you can select what you want on it. So, minus the cheese, each one is four fat. 27 carb, four, 14 protein. I was gonna go with uh, five. That's even better. 
Chung just got here. He saw my post on Instagram with the egg white delights. Woke up to that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you never had one before? Uh, not the egg white one. I just had the I think it might be a little too clean tasting for you. Yeah, only eight grams of fat. <laughs> I don't know that all board. <laughs> Pretty good, yeah. Egg white's on point. Yeah, see, there's no need for all that fat. You can mod it out a little bit. And that's why America's just obese, because they don't see the, uh, they don't see food as numbers. You have it a regular one, I think it's like 40, 40 or probably 45 grams of fat, and then you're yeah, still hungry. More. Yeah. Really? Because And then you're still hungry, and then you go and eat like a bag of cookies at work. Then it just gets over, overdone. Yeah. All right guys, gonna change the shoes. Today is our deadlift, our conventional deadlift day. Only movement we're doing, we're gonna do 10 sets of five today. Last week, we we did five sets of 10, and we started real light, 225. We haven't thrown in conventional deadlifts in a long time. Um, I started doing conventional deadlifts uh, when I first started deadlifting, actually. Uh, so, yeah, I wanna talk about shoes. You guys have seen me, you guys have seen me um, deadlifting in these, sumoing in these lately. And uh, I just, there was no particular reason. I I went from the, the Reebok uh, power shoes, and yeah, that's what they're called. There's tanks, there's white ones. I have the same exact ones, but black. Pretty much you want something flat and very minimal when you deadlift. When you sumo, you, you kind of want really good grip at the bottom. But you want the 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 you want it to be very minimal. <coughs> you don't want <coughs> you don't want cushion like a like a free run or like a, a Nike Air Max like a, a trainer. You don't want any cushion. You don't want any give. You want to be flat and and flat to the ground as much as possible. That's why Chuck's you know Chuck Taylors work really well because um, they're flat. But to, for me. My experience with the Chucks, they, they, they work really well for like three, four, maybe even six months, but then the the bottom, the sole starts um, wearing down pretty fast. The Reebok Power Shoes, let me show you mine. Those are really lasting. You can see the bottom, they're still there. There's a lot of stability. Um, I still like these, I just want to change it up a little bit. Somewhere in the New Balance Minimuses. And these are pretty minimal. There's some grip at the bottom, which I like for sumos. There's no, I don't, I don't have any play. I'm not, you know, with a with a wide stance. Um, there's no, I'm not moving around. So that's my take on shoes and deadlifts. I'm gonna start sipping on my pre-workout. I'm doing pep test today. Pep test bulk. It is uh, the Sour Batch, New Pump, a scoop of New Pump, and a scoop of Vasky. Tankster should be here pretty soon, so he's on his way. I'm gonna start sipping on that and then uh, do some mobility work. Toys for Tots. So I think what we're gonna do is anybody that brings a toy in the month of December, we're gonna we're gonna give a discounted guest fee of uh, five bucks. Because if we if we do a free guest guest fee, we already get enough guests as it is. If we if we do free, I think somebody will come in here and bring like a two dollar toy, and come in like every day, and that that won't be fair to the members paying a monthly membership and it'll be overcrowded in here. I don't want it to get overcrowded, right? It's, it's exclusive, so that's final. Anybody to bring a toy, you you get a discounted um, guest fee of five dollars. We're gonna set this up. Tankster uh, got some strawberries for pre-workout. This pre-workout, keeping it clean. <laughs> nah, they they gave them free yeah. strawberries for for us participating in Toys for Tots. So hopefully we can get a bunch of toys for everybody, from everybody, for the kids. It'll be a good good cause, good turnout. Alright, first working set. 
So we're doing 10 sets of five. We want to find something at like an RPE, like a low RPE, like seven, eight. It's a lot of volume and it's still pretty much a new movement for us. Some parking lot lunges for Tankster. <laughs> He's supposed to go to the red curb over there, but uh, <laughs> struggling a little bit. Awesome workout, or awesome deadlift session with Tankster. I was able to hit um, my 10 sets of five with 315, which I didn't think was gonna be difficult. It was pretty easy. It was just like, probably after, after like the seventh set, it started like, my core started getting, um, giving out. Well, getting weak, getting, I was getting tired. And uh, I think that's what we need, just getting accustomed to the movement. Uh, so that's what we're doing. We're alternating 10 sets of five and five sets of 10, varying the weight, and we're gonna slowly increase the weight over, over the weeks. So I got my wobble plate, I got my wobble plate. Quest bar, and then uh, my subs for this meal, my Nutritox multivitamin, Nutritox um, joint formula, and fish oil. All right, putting together a meal. It is about 7:30. So here is this beef steak, John Soul's uh, meat. Right here, this is uh, the whole package, six ounces. I just threw on some wava, wava sauce, uh, serving in half. Came out to 27 grams. You see there. So I'm gonna mix this together. Mix it real good so it's uh, sauce is just nice and soaked in all the meat. And then I'm gonna throw it in the microwave for two minutes. And then I have white rice heating up right there. I'm also gonna have two laughing cow cheeses. Because they're all smashed up, I, I dropped them last night. I'm gonna have a uh, Diet Crush, orange soda. All right, so just got the beef out of the microwave. I'm gonna dump the rice in there. Really simple. And then just mix it all up. All right, there you go. So mix it all up, waba sauce is like all over the rice, and then two laughing cow cheeses, just throw them on top. And how I eat the cheese, I think some of you think that I just mix it in and let it melt, but I just take little bits and pieces of the of the cheese, and then take a bite of the rice and the, the beef, or the chicken. And that is it. Nice simple meal, good volume. Last little snack before bed. Oh, a skinny cow. All right. Finishing up the uh, arrow and flash episode. It's pretty good. The crossover, the second crossover episode. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace. You go, I go. You say, I say, one song to sing.